as they prepare for next week's Culver Skills Camp at BAA Field. President Dennis Brown has been putting some of the youngsters through their paces. And we also hear from talented Kane Critchlow, who has remarkable skills. So Dennis Brown with the Brazilian football school up here at Barclay uh, Field doing some good things, a nice little turnout. I know you went away recently and you've come back. So tell us what's uh, taking place and what's the numbers look like and, and what sort of, uh, well, we've seen some of the drills you've put them through. Yeah, Mike, um, school's going very well. Um, this is our weekly uh, session at Barclay School. We are also at Sands 360 uh, when they reopen. We usually up there on Monday nights. Um, we're also getting in preparation for our mid-term uh, camp, which is coming up from November the 8th to the 12th. Um, so we're basically, basically had these boys for some of them for about a year, as you saw with um, Kane, Lil Kane, Chris Lou here. He's been here for about, I would say, eight to nine months, and um, he's really one of the exceptional elite students that I have right now. Um, this year we took um, about five boys from his age, seven boys from his age range to England for some matches along with some under 12 and an under 16 team and they've done very well. It's about enlightening them as to what it takes to become a professional football player. Um, it wasn't easy, a lot of the competition that they had wasn't easy, but it's sure at the end that in order for them to aspire to new heights, they have to put in their work. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was very pleased with what they put in. And starting at a young age. And we have to get them, you know, um, enlightened at a young age because everyone has the perception that football is an easy sport but it was good for me to show them at a young age what it takes for them to aspire to be professional football players yeah not just young men young ladies involved young as ladies well this as well we have a couple of young ladies who are very very talented so we you know we cater to um, the young the old we start at five years old or right up until you see um, Naquan Smith there who's one of the apprentice coaches now so he's about 16 17 so you know we're taking them in once they finish at a certain age now we get them and to appreciate what it takes to be a coach as well. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions on some of the things that we've seen you in football. Um, what is your name? Kane Critchlow. Okay, what school do you attend? Rock Academy Primary. Okay, how old are you? Ten years old. Yes, okay, so who basically started you into um, what we see here today in relation to your skills and stuff like that? Well, my dad started me off playing football when I was 11 months, and from there I just progressed on and did learn different skills. Every I learned different skills every twice a week, so I could use them in the game and get better and better at them. Okay, very good. So from what we've seen, so how do, how often do you train? each week on your own? Um, I train five times a week in my backyard. Okay, very good. How long as he's ever held that ball up like that? What's the longest you've kept the ball up at one time? Um, it was at, I was, it was at a West Ham camp and I kept up for 800. Okay, very good. So by the time next year, you should be getting over a thousand, right? Yep. Diego Richardson. Nigel Sharif Hewitt. Okay, so um, you guys have been in this school for a year now. <laughs> Tell me how you think you have progressed from when you started to where you are now. Um, I think I got better than what I started at the school. Okay, better in? Better at football. Um, your control, your touch, your skill level. Yeah. Okay. Same here.
know, can he do this? You serious? His hole? That's well done. And now, 